Morning all! Good morning people of <coughs> U to the Tube. U to the Tube to the Tube to the U. It's Monday, fresh, bright and early here. It is, and we have a new job. Well, we started it last week, well, Connor and Andy and Chunky did. But we're on a new job, we're not tinning a barn, we're not concrete boarding a barn no, this but week. we are concreting. Yeah, at a farm still, a different yeah. farm. So sit back and relax, and uh, like, share and subscribe. Uh, yeah, like, share, and then hit the little bell button. For notifications. Notifications, get notified. So you get this. told when we're about. Yes. And yeah, in, uh, just to, just have a jolly good time. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you've liked, <laughs> shared, and subscribed. We've done that. We've got that. Take that off the list. Yeah. Uh, Sit back and enjoy Dane's Low Weekly. Yeah, yeah. It's Monday. Uh, we're just going to have a quick walk about. Chunky's there. Look, Chunky's got the micro on it and higher. Was he down there, is he? Chunky is, yeah. Don't be looking for him. Hey! Mr. B! Mr. B! Uh, the sun's out. It's Monday morning. And we've got 16 cubes of concrete turning up at 10. 10 o'clock, isn't it? 10 o'clock. Uh, well, yes. Is it Russell's concrete. Russell's concrete. I uh, hope everyone had a great weekend and yeah, it's going to be a different week this week because we're not concrete boarding or tinning a barn. It's going to be a nice week. It's nice to do something different. It is. Ah, that's what I did look for. What? Wellington boots. Oh, Wellington boots. Uh, yes. So you will probably join us when we are at site preparing for concrete. Yeah, we will be there this morning on time and we will be preparing. Well, the boys prepared on Friday because we weren't here, were we? No. So the boys done a, had a good day preparing all the shutter in, all the mesh. And I think they've got it to a stage where we've just got to cut a few mesh this morning and put them in. And then concrete at 10 o'clock, two loads. That gets the first two bays poured. And then we move along to the second two bays tomorrow. Yeah. So by midweek, you should have the track, the majority of the track done. And then we just got the corner. That's You'll the see plan. what I mean by the corner when we get there, guys. Yes. And like Sam, week before last, uh, he was suffering from uh, Britain's biggest workplace problem, which was a bad back. I too have a bad back today. I tried to pick up some compost on Saturday and ended up having to crawl into my house from the carport. <laughs> but I'm okay, I'm uh, drugged up and it's easy. I had visions of Jack crawling to his back door, knocking on the door, help. I couldn't reach the handle, so I had to knock on the door. Hilarious. My kids thought I was playing a game. I wasn't, I was in agony. Hilarious. We had a good day Friday, didn't we, d &J? We did have a good day Friday. Their video went up. Yesterday. Just gone. Yeah, yeah have just a look gone. at their previous video. We are on there somewhere. It was lovely to meet Dave. I've been watching him for years, and it's finally nice to meet him, isn't it? It is. And just the whole team, really, apart from Stevie, he weren't there, but the rest of the team are great. Yeah, they? and he did say that he's going to come to Truckfest. So, yeah. watch this space. Yeah, he did no, say he's coming to our opening as well, but... Mm. Yeah. I don't know. He put it in his diary. He put uh, it in his diary. It's his birthday that weekend, so we're going to see what he's saying. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we'll join you back on site and we'll see you there. Yes, yes we might have a little giveaway for you as well. Oh. So, guys, we are here. We are at the farm. Not the farm that we're at, not the farm we've been at, but the farm we're now at. Uh, ready for concreting so the guys set the shuttering up for the two pours today on friday so we've started with this bay here which adjoins the previous concreting obviously sets our levels slightly larger bay to get us in line with this shed sort the levels out because the levels need to come up slightly and start tilting towards the field and then this bay because what that means is that we've got a lovely gap in the middle to shutter up and pour tomorrow and we'll do the same at that end do another bay and so on and so forth. Yes, we've got these lovely little uh, rebar supporting cups, rebar mesh supporting cups. It's probably not called cups, they're probably called something else. But uh, they were the tallest ones we could get and all, weren't they? They were, yeah. And they're still not very tall, are they? No, for, what was it, 80? I thought they said 75 mil below. Well, they're not, are they? They're 45 mil below, 75 mil overall. So that is a, uh, what that is, is false advertising. Yes. One thing the boys haven't thought of is the camp's going to oversail here. And we're high. And we're high. We can't oversail outside because we're even higher. 
Well, then we need nine tonner around there and scrape that edge. Okay, so then we then we just get a spade and chip away this edge. It's fine, Sam. It's fine, mate. That might be a hassle on a Monday morning. Right, let's pull that out. Yes, so we are going to prepare the rest of these bays. So rebar mesh. Uh, we're going to drill. We're going to drill into the previous concrete along this edge, along this edge, and hammer rebar lengths in so that the concrete is adjoined, affixed, uh, so that the, the, the pads are, uh, yeah, giving each other strength. Uh, get the rebar done, cups in, and then concrete is turning up at ten which is always a uh, manic time. And we've got to scrape some of this edge off there, Sam was saying, so we get the tamp across. We've got a lovely power tamp. And yes, concreting, on the concreting hype. Yes, yes. So yes, first job for me, guys. Drilling at 500 mil intervals, uh, a hole to cut lengths of rebar to bang in and uh, give the strength for the transfer point. There's some, technical words it's Monday morning I'll just get drilling uh, it's Monday morning <laughs> it's fresh here today it's fresh oh, I don't know what's going on here I look like I have a bit of a, bit of a, a rush going on I haven't really uh, fresh it is I mean look all that crap weather we've had and we're concreting today and it's just beautiful it's beautiful british countryside british weather has really pulled out the sunshine for us today the boys are drilling into the existing concrete all the way along 500 mil we go spacings normally so about 200 mil into the concrete so rebar we then cut lengths of rebar stick that in the hole resin it in 200 mil in the concrete 200 mil out the concrete tied on to the existing mesh that we put in the base so it's all keyed in together all tight concrete can't ever sink connor's cutting the rebars andy and jack sunshine's better there uh, are drilling the holes so we're all set up so we've gone six inch concrete in total six inch base so yeah we bought a load of new shutter in as well we bought enough to do two full eight meter pours eight cubic meter pours in one hit which is two lorry loads in the uk don't know what it is in the usa and that but in the uk eight cubic meters is a lorry load so we've done enough to do that bay there and this bay here so we've meshed it all up we've got cups to sit the mesh on now i thought they were 75 mil tall but it is what it is they're about two inches up so we've got I don't know, four inches of concrete above, two inches below. So the mesh is within the middle of the concrete thereabouts. It'd be plenty strong enough. We've gone for... Jack, what's the mix we've gone for? C35? C35. C35 mix on the concrete, which means it's got fibres in it and it's strong. So typical sort of farm use concrete mix. That's what we're going for, isn't it, Jack? It is. Just telling the guys the process of how, how we concrete. I know it's different for everyone, but that's how we do it. It's how we roll. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. How's your drill bit going? Yes, yeah, I good, mate. Thank you. Yeah. We're roasting through batteries. Roasting. And it's well, C35 it's C35 with fibres. Yes, yeah, that's what I said, yeah, fibres. Yeah. yeah. Fibrous. Fibrous. So not only have we got mesh, we've got fibres in the concrete as well. So this concrete will be fucking solid, won't it? It will be solid. I don't know how it. Yeah, then we're going to landscape it all after because they've got a bit of a bund going down here. It's going to look lovely, but we're hoping to be out here Friday. We've got how many square metres? 415 square metres. 415 square metres from Monday to Friday. Poor strike set up, poor. Poor strike set up, poor every day. Yeah, full on. Full on. But over and done with quick, in and out. Yeah, so we've pulled a bit of two days off the job. So we can try and get down the yard next week. Yeah, so if you didn't know already, I don't know if we've mentioned it in a previous video. We mentioned it in this video as well. We're going to probably mention it in every video so that we get as many people there as possible. You're all invited, actually. 1st of June. 1st of June, Saturday, the 1st of June. About 1 o'clock? Yep. Put it in your diaries. Danes Low, New Yard, open day. There'll be drinks. There'll be a bit of a barbecue slash burger van, whatever we go for. Might even be a bit of live music. Not sure yet. Uh, what's he saying? I don't know. 
Don't worry, legs, mate. There'll be plenty of burgers there for you. There'll be uh, just a general chit chat and, and get to know everyone. Isn't, isn't that right? Yeah. A bit of a get together. What's he saying? Hello. What are you saying, legs, mate? Connor's going to be the host of the most. What's the matter, Connor, mate? You were worried about your burger. There'll be one there for you, mate. Oh, that's what I was going to say, sorry, but I can't. What are you going to say, mate? No, mate. Oh, you're away on the 1st of June, aren't you? Sorry. Oh, that's all right then. So, yeah, 1st of June, guys. Put it in your diary, isn't that right? That's right. You heard it here for the second time. Yeah. So that's the bay's pretty much set up guys. Got all the shuttering around, that was done Friday. Got the base all adequately compacted, got the rebar in, got the uh, cut the the lengths cut ready to poke in here once it's poured to tie into the next bay. And now we are just marking out for uh, tomorrow's pours, which is gonna be a deeper bay at this end. Do pray tell. Uh, yeah, preparation for later later jobs, isn't it? Yeah, so they there is like a dirt farm track here. They're gonna actually extend that farm track out to the concrete and it'll be a it'll just be a hard stood track. farm track. And they're worried that bringing heavy machinery off of a hard stood track to a concrete pad the transfer between the transfer of weight, a bit more danger of it cracking, needs to be a bit more substantial. So we're going deeper, we're going to bay there that's Eight inches deep. That is, instead yeah. of six. Instead of six. Or 200 instead of 150. Exactly. So we're just paralleling that up. We've got to obviously bring in quite a lot of uh, sub base because the level has to rise to where sort of stone hinges over there and then slope down to the wash, uh, the uh, spray shed. Yes, yes. Uh, concrete will be here soon. This is like the lull before the storm. It's going to be a hectic week this week because we've got two pours a day every day. So we've got a, a midday. So they've got the mornings to take the shuttering off, re-shutter, compact, level, uh, rebar, cups, uh, cut all the edges, uh, expansion joints, uh, pour. So yeah, it's gonna be a hectic one. But at least the sun is shining. And uh, you, yeah, there's not many jobs that have got this nice of view. I mean, obviously it's Cambridge here, so it's very flat, but it's a view nonetheless. Look. That's James's house. Look, oh, hi James. That's Connor's house over there, hi Connor. Yes, right in the thick of it. I was just saying, what last view we've got? Oh, I told him this morning. That the Did British, you? When the British countryside really goes in full swing. Isn't it a beautiful place to be? It's a beautiful place. Isn't it? Beautiful place. You know? Oh, look at them. Look. They're like dogs with beers. Uh, Rabbits, hares. hares. They're so far away, they look dogs, like dogs. Dogs, deers, or hares? Yeah, there's a couple of boxing hares over there. Look, that's what they call them, isn't it? Boxing hares. Are they boxing, are they? Yeah, because they box, look, don't they? Well, they look like they're running to me. They're running, mate, they're running. Just, running. A, couple of, just a couple of hares. Yeah. Oh, there's another one, look. Here he comes. That might be a dog, that one. Very slow dog. Okay, well, we're going to wait for concrete a bit longer. <laughs> Trying to chase each other, all three of them. Right. Look, guys, I'm wearing Chunky's Wellington boots. Look, oh, I'll tell you what, they fit like a glove, they do. Fit like a glove. Just loading up some grain they are. There's a hell of a mountain in that barn. I'll have to show you in a bit. A mountain of grain. Oh no, I didn't say these either. Look, my new socks. New socks, care of Sam's Nan. Knitted by her own fair hand. Uh, lovely Daneslow branded woolly socks. Lovely. Mm. Concrete's here.
concrete is here. We're going around that side first, aren't we? We're oh, pouring here first, are we? Yeah. Me. Right, we're almost ready guys, just getting some shutter oil on the shutters to ease the poppage when we remove tomorrow. I'm gonna wait for the grey lorries get out of the way. Back straight up, pour in. Now this is slightly bigger than an eight cube pour because we that's slightly less, so we will be a bit of a short. And then his next pour later on. Uh, the next lorry will pour a little bit here and fill that one up. So I think uh, it's time for a time lapse. So that first lorry load done, tamped. We've got a little bit more to go in this bay, a little bit more in here, and then the rest of that lorry load in that bay, which should, if our calculations are correct, be enough concrete. Right, so that's that bay done. Just got to tamp it when we're finished pouring this bay. Now we're on to the slightly smaller bay. It's only 3.8 wide. That one about is five meters wide. So chunky, expert banks and chunky, just getting the lorry around here. And I think it's gonna come up where I'm standing, I think. Where's he going then, up there? If you can get on that bank, Chunky, they want him up on that bank. He's in, let's get pouring. So we were about a half a cube, we had about half a cube left, which is fine. We've got to build up a lot over here. So we'll use whatever we need to get in these bays and these pores, and then that will get broken up by the nine tonner and put over there. But uh, yeah, Ross already mix. Lovely. Now we're going to have a bit of a drink and then get these tamped off. Yeah, spot on. And then start preparing ready for tomorrow. Right, we well, stopped for a drink, stop for a bit of lunch. You are? Yeah, we uh, just had an email from our, one of our favourite auctions. That, uh, they do liquidation auctions and there's a new one just come up. Uh, an old agricultural sort of shop. Uh, oh, shan't be telling them, shan't be telling them what auctions because... Yeah, we shan't be doing that. We don't want to be in there, do we? No, but uh, there's quite a few good bits on there. Yeah, let's get this tamped. So that's this bay tamped off. So tamping, this is a tamp. Uh, we actually have a power tamp, but it wasn't long enough for this bay. So we just use the hand tamp, just a bit of timber, some handles. Uh, that does a, a few things, it helps level. So you sit it on the shutter on the inside and we'll level the concrete through. And also the, 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 the tamping action helps the air bubbles to rise, uh, which obviously aids the concrete strength. The sand is going to go around.
going now with this edging trowel. We have a nice edge, nice edge to the concrete. The rakes, yes, so you go around with the edging trowel now, sort the edges out. They're getting the power tamp out for that bay. And uh, I'm going to find the rakes, give them a little wash. I'll leave the tools over back later, then pick them up. Right, so we're going to leave that in the capable hands of Andy, Connor and Chunky. We've got to go and see a few quotes and bring some uh, crush back later on. Yeah, it's going to get that floated off. Once we've got the power float, it makes our times easier. Uh, uh, right, it needs to run. Yeah, it's hitting that dirt. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Capable hands. Why did the power float over the tub? Yeah, I'd like to say, for ease. Yeah, for ease. I like that, because you're going to be there, Yeah, well, to be fair, because we pull it off and wet, that would actually be quite easy. It's self-leveling. They're going to edge it up, I hope. It's been wet to edge up. Yeah, just wait for it to go, you've got to cut it out of time. Edge it up. It's going to be something that's going to be fine, that's going to be pushing on that thing. Hi guys, we are, me and Sandra went to see a quote and we've got so much office stuff to get on with that we are taking this afternoon to do that. We've got five or six quotes to get out. Uh, just all the opening stuff to get up to date with. And there's some other stuff as well on the list. Plus I can give my back a rest, which is lovely. So we're at the office. I'm going to carry these cups up and not spill them. Oh. He says, ah, there we go. And we just had a lovely load of 6F2 ready for this concreting job. So, yeah, upstairs, coffee. Get my phone on charge because I've only got 4% battery left. Oh, it's nice and warm up here. That's one thing about the barn. Wait, when the sun's out, it does get nice and warm up here. Even on a cold day. Yep, yep. We're just setting Chunky up. He's got a bit of a, a bit of a, a further delivery today for some hire. One of our local customers has got a job a bit further afield. So Chunky is taking our lovely little one tonner out. Look at that. One tonner on servos, taking it out. I've just loaded up the crush for the day, Jack. Have you showed the viewers the crush on the lorry? There you go, look. We are fully loaded with 6F2. What that a crap that is, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, it's a crusher run. It's the build-up so, the build up underneath the concrete, because we're yeah. a bit low. And uh, for a farm, it's actually quite nice. Yes. Compared to some of the stuff farms use. So we're going to get that up there and get the shutter in strucken, stricken. Stricken, stricken, struck off. And set up for the new two pads today at one o'clock. Yes. Concrete coming at one, for yes. me, 16 cube. Yes. Chunky's then coming back here. Yeah. To unload, unhook the trailer. Unhook the trailer. And then he's on hardcore to the farm. Hardcore? Because the nice farmers are taking all our hardcore for free, aren't they? They are, because they like the block a bit of hardcore, you see. Uh, yes, I am going to go and get, get a coffee. coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're here, guys. We're on site. We are concrete job. Yesterday, obviously all edged up. A lovely four-inch edging trowel. Look at that. Nice quick set. Not too warm yesterday, so no surface cracking. It's lovely. To the next bay as well. All the rebar sticking out the sides, ready to tie into the next pad. So Andrew is just setting up the far corner. I don't know. What do you reckon that is, Jack? You know, some sort of footprint. I oh, reckon that sound like nice things say, but they do, need you? Look, footprints. It's donkey in here getting on donkey five one two new. Jolly old morning, crispy little morning. Jolly, jolly, jolly morning. Got a cup of coffee morning. Got a tasha bow morning. Sip, 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 sip. Go on, mate. 
right wheel. One o'clock, I pushed it back to. Morning, morning, morning to you all at home. Uh, Tuesday morning here on site, isn't it, Jack? All day. All well, day long. Well, no, it's Tuesday morning all morning. It's Tuesday morning all morning, but it's yeah, Tuesday all day till midnight tonight. Uh, we're on site now. We are at the current concrete job, and the last night, yesterday's concrete looks lovely. The boys done a nice job of finishing it off while we went and done quotes and stuff. So now we're striking the shutter in. So this is the shuttering that Jack showed you this morning. If you can't fit full lengths in, you use a bit of six by two like we have here. So we've got all the rebar cut in to join the next pad. So now we're striking it all, which means taking it all down for all you viewers that don't know. And then we're going to set up for the next pad, which is this middle one here between the two pads. And then one down over there. So we've got to get all them ready by one o'clock. So that means shuttering in, level set, new mesh, uh, cups for the mesh to sit on. Same process as you saw yesterday, but just again. So we've got two pours a day, 16 cube a day until Friday. Okay. Lovely job, man. When she calls, I always hear her lose my cool. Baby, I'm just a mouth to your whole plane. And don't you know that loving you is a train wreck waiting to happen? Don't you know that So it's coffee time, 10 o'clock. We've got three hours until concrete turns up. This bay here is nearly ready. Connor's gonna get on and put the mesh in there in a minute. Jack and Andy have been setting up the end bay and it works out that it's, uh, from that one, from that shutter in there that goes that way for that end bay that we're putting in, from there to there, it's 12 meters. 12 meter bays, you see. It looks like it was made to measure. Chunky's just got back from delivering the digger, ain't you, Chunky? Give him a, give him a doff, mate. Give him a doff. Subscriber. What? Yeah, he delivered the digger to a subscriber. So we're getting like a bit like D and J now, aren't we, Jake? All our work's from subscribers. Big shout out to Jake. Jake. Yeah, good old boy, Jake. He, uh, he's had quite a few machines off us, hasn't he? Yeah, it was uh, one of the. One of the first grabs that I went on was actually with me and Chunky when Sam was away. I'm on holiday. And it oh, was that's the, a hottest, rare thing. the hottest day of the year. And Chunky did a hardcore grab. And if you've never grabbed before, hardcore is a pain in the arse. And then my God, he was sweating. That was for Jake. Yeah, You're was, welcome, Jake. That was a hard day, wasn't it? It was. It was a good day, though. Me and Chunky ran this. We, we steered the shit right away. I thought, I'll have a week off because there'll be no grabs coming in. It was one of the busiest weeks for grabs we've ever had. Chunky was blowing out his ass, mate. <laughs> I've never been the same since. That was the old Volvo and all, wasn't it? It was, yeah. She was getting red hot. But we're nearly ready for concrete. I mean, another hour, we'll be ready for concrete, which means we can put our feet up for two hours. Till one o'clock. And then it's all systems go until about three o'clock, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. And then tomorrow, the same thing. We'll be out here Friday, which is lovely, because we were, we were panicking about this job. We've had to go in a bit cheap to get it, because we were struggling for work, if we're honest. And so we thought, we'll fill the diary up. Got to do what you've got to do in business. If you've got a... Uh, break even to keep the boys busy we'd rather survive one more week and keep the boys busy than lose jobs so that's what we're going to do on this one aren't we? it is yeah so we've done it we've we managed to win the job so hopefully we've pulled a few days off it you know we, we quoted it x amount we thought it's a 10 day job we've managed to do it in five well we bought more road forms yeah. we bought 10 more lengths of and they're a grand a chuck yeah 10 more lengths well, not each yeah. Grand for the ten more lengths, hundred for the pop. Yeah. So they let a bit of investment, managed to save us probably a week of five, but twenty-five man days. Yeah. So we've managed to pull the job out. We'll be out of here Friday, which means also, guys, it's freed up a week next week for us to go and do the yard. So hopefully we can get the back walls in, get the bays built, because we're, although we're booked up now until June, 
we've also got to try and finish the yard ready for the open down the 1st of June. Yeah. So we're trying the hardest. What have you got there? That's not a Tashimo. No, this is a Conobo. A Conobo? Yeah. So we have Tashimo and Conobos. And Connor has a long way to go until he meets the uh, Tashimo standards. Yeah, we need some powdered creamer. Mm, yes. Uh, if you guys out there know of any good coffee machines that we can get, or know a company that do coffee machines for merchants and shops, let us know, because we are in the market to get in a coffee machine. We want it to be as cheap as possible so that we can give them away. We want to give them away to our customers. So let us know. Anyway, coffee time. Ciao, ciao. So that's that bay basically set up guys and this is the bay that's slightly deeper because it's going to be the traffic on and off of the pad onto the field. So that's eight inches deep that pad. So that one's nearly done. Just getting into the right depth. That pad in the middle is all done. Connor has expertly rebarred it. That's all meshed up and expansion joints are in. Yeah, we've got another hour till concrete arrives I think. So we've got to get this one tickety booed, uh, rebar in, concrete poured. Lovely! So obviously now the bays are set up, the next job is shutter oil. So this is basically, I think it's, I want to say linseed oil or some sort of oil, canola oil, I don't know, some sort of oil. And there is no better lubricant. Honestly, it's incredible stuff. We spray this on the shutters and then when we split them tomorrow, they will come off without any, uh, any residue. It is beautiful, Sam, it is beautiful. Uh, the calm before the storm, uh, we're just sitting in one of the lovely grain barns, gloriously warm. Uh, they, they've got these sort of air heater blower things all through the floor to dry the grain out. I don't know if they're turned on, but it's lovely and warm in here, probably insulated. That's probably why it's so warm in here. Uh, I'll have to show you in the big barn at some point because there's a mountain in there, mountain of grain. Uh, yeah, so concrete will be here soon. Get our wellies on. Connor's got his on there, got his rigger boots. Yeah. We've got to try and make this week's video not just uh, the same every day. Shut her in then concrete, shut her in then concrete. Well, that's, the, that's the joys of our work, Jack. It's the nature of the job. Work, exactly. So what we'll do is we'll give you a tour of this uh, Massey Ferguson tractor. Look, there it is. That's the tour over. 65 it is. It's an old 65 I hear. No. Yeah, well, that's our some knowledge of the uh, Massey Ferguson 65. I would ask Connor, but he'll be here too long talking about it. Hey, farmer, don't you know? That's the sort of thing you used to drive back in the day, Chungi. Yeah, no, careful. What did you have to do when you were, when it was all dusty? You didn't have to put a thing over your head. You know, you told that story before? Yeah, how's your sack? Uh, Tump, yeah, Hessian sack. sack. Yeah, sack. Like a cut, cut yeah, and what was that? Why was it so dusty? You were carting off the combines. Oh, I was pulling up with that. You just burned it, didn't I? Burned the stubble you know? Chunky was saying that when he used to drive these, when he was a younger man, uh, obviously no cab, bit dusty, he'd wear a Hessian sack over his head. Uh, what a sight that would have been. I'm just thinking, there's us going to town on, on Mr. Rankin's boards on his roof. And in the middle, they've only put one screw in each board, look. Yeah, but they're concrete boards. A bit heavier than tin, aren't they? Doesn't matter, mate. They don't flex, whereas a tin sheet flexes, no, isn't they? about on the sides, isn't that, mate? Oh, yeah. We can all more shot with those, eh? We haven't got any. They're all out, mate. Yeah. Got a nice tank there. I have to use that for the last bay over the back there to get wider than four metres, yeah. you see.
think concrete's here. Concrete here, is it? Chunky's just leaving. Gonna get some more, some of the hardcore from the yard. And I think concrete has arrived as well. Oh yes, there he is. He's just turning around. Just turning around, folks. So we're on to round through bay three and bay four of the uh, concrete and hype. I'll do another time lapse. Who knows how many of these time lapses will make it into the end of the video because otherwise you're gonna have about 80, no, how many bays are there? Eight bays, eight concrete bay time lapses. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the next two bays poured. We had a bit of overspill with Brian, and the farm workers as used, nothing going to waste. And now Andy and Connor are giving it a nice tamped finish, and then they'll leave it for a bit and give it a nice edge. Yes, we got a lovely wooden tamp for that. Lovely, lovely bit of, lovely bit of gear. Just back at the uh, yard guys, that looks like some soil for a customer and Sam's just loading up some more hardcore for the concreting job and I just rolled back around and give the bucket a clean out because it's full of dirt and I noticed that these have been delivered, look at this, this is 100 square metres of porcelain paving, 100 square metres, this is global stone, I think it's global stone isn't it? Uh, station white so it's a very very white slab and we've even got the same slab uh, the same porcelain but sets 100 mil by 200 mil sets for the edging so uh, we're starting that job when we start that job mid april i think yeah i think mid april it's gonna be a good one a full garden full garden full front garden driveway the whole shebang be good to get into the garden scene again I mean, they could have put them somewhere other than in the poopy mud, if I'm honest. MKM, not your usual high standard of delivery. But thank you, Josh. Thank you for getting them out so quickly. We really appreciate it. Uh, oh, yes. And we got this today as well. Uh, I don't think we needed it. But we got it. A basically brand spanking new tri-axle Eiffel for williams uh 14 foot is it 14 foot no uh, one two three and a half yeah 14 foot i think but yeah lovely little bit of kit isn't it it's got brand new ramps brand new set of ramps slid inside there i have to get a lock for them they don't like they're locked they must be locked well it hasn't got any sides we we'll have to buy some sides for it. But for the larger diggers and stuff, perfect. For moving stuff that we want to move that we don't warrant a lorry, perfect. And like I say, it's literally done, probably done about 100 miles from new, and we got it for a right bargain. But that does mean that this trailer, our very, very wide in dispension, double axle plant trailer, and also our very small, or smaller, uh, double axle Eiffel Williams plant trailer will be going up for sale. They are up for sale. If you want to buy them, uh, we're going to put them into Cheffin's auction if they don't sell. But yeah, hit us up in the comments if you would like to buy a perfect wide, we've even got running lights down each side, so perfectly wide and safe uh, plant trailer. Brand new hitch, brand new axle we put on that. Uh, new tyres all round, uh, it's a lovely trailer and that's our oldest plant trailer, uh, it's in good nick still, toes well, but yes, Eiffel Williams, in dispension, beast of a trailer, still a beast but a bit smaller, up for sale, 
we've replaced those two with this. So that means we've got the brand spanking new plant trailer that's in the shed. Oh no, Chunky's got it. And this one now. That's Sam, that's one of Sam's trailers. He's uh, Arthur Williams. I think that's like, yeah, his baby. He owns a lot of trailers. But uh, that's like his prized possession of a trailer. Uh, we've got a little Diddy one. Tri axle though, rather than double axle. So, although it always baffles me because it carries the same weight. And I imagine, obviously, that people are like, yeah, but it carries less weight per tyre. But it must scrub through tyres. Uh, yeah. If you know why a tri-axle trailer is better than a dual double axle trailer, I mean, it's an extra tyre to change. I don't know. Maybe there is a very good reason. Some, of you, some people say, oh, it'll tow better and stuff. Well, until I tow it, I don't know. But, uh, although, to be fair, I've never had any issue towing those ones. You don't tow it and go, oh, this is horrible towing this trailer Ooh. anyway yeah our new trailer look at that we haven't got a nice lock on it look lovely right i'm going to put this uh put vera back and uh, we're going to take the molds tomorrow we had about a cube left today of concrete farmers used it but tomorrow we're going to we're going to connor's going to split these molds when he gets back we're going to take them with us so if we don't have anything left over we can pour a block on site joy right let's put vera back just out on a bit of a quote visit and we couldn't turn up nipping into home base. We've done B and Q now, that's been done, but now we're in home base. Well, that's some door handles, look. I thought, I thought it was 179 quid then. Oh. So Sam's got a very particular plug socket that he needs, but I don't think this home base has it. I don't know why they do that, you know. All these home base stores in the, in the whole country, they make every install different, don't they? Yeah. I know what we'll do, we'll stock it in the ones in Northampton, but they won't get them down in Essex, mate. Antique brass. Oh, look, a jet black. That's nice, isn't it? I suppose you can go jet black. Just about to leave, and we uh, spotted the clearance. Let's see what the. What have we got here then? I don't know, whatever that is, that's still 20 a quid. A six pin strip light connection lead. Yeah, look. look. 22 pounds? 20 quid, mate. Bit of metal. What is it? Flymo blade. What is it? Oh, a flymo blade. Uh, stickers for that well, stickers mate that for boxes what are they reduced down to 15p bits and bobs what are these now 50p look a reduced glare louvre that bamboo note holder look three quid I don't tell you what guys I don't rate I don't rate uh Dear what, DIY, what sort of shop is this? <laughs> what is it not a uh, garden centre? Is it a garden no, centre? What is it then? It's like a, uh, um, uh, uh, home, improvement home improvement outlet. Yeah, well, they're not, they're not very discounted, are they? <laughs> no, I don't, yeah, I don't rate them. B&Q home base, you need to do better on your discounts. I mean, look. It's £46. What's that going to heat up? Fucking feet. <laughs> it's for rabbit, rabbit ones. <laughs> Right. Bye, home base. Bye. Well, that was short lived. Uh, I, I rate B and Q over home base. It seems uh, that that home base there, home base Southern Walden, completely, utterly pointless. <laughs> Just sell it, sell it, and make it into houses. <laughs> yeah, they what don't, a pointless store that was. They don't stock a lot. The only worker they've got is her. Look, yeah, that's her. There. there she is. We walked in and she was stacking the paints up, and now she's watering all the plants. And they got three blokes, and they're just standing around twiddling their thumbs. Yeah, well, a completely pointless store though, just get rid of it. No, you don't stock anything. And that's yep. 10 minutes of my life, I'm not getting back. No. Okay, right on. Hi you? guys, two years ago. This is a job we did two years ago. It's like a, 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 a very, very open driveway to a lovely house. And uh, they always get potholes. And so two years ago, we repaired all the potholes with tarmac and sealed the joints. And of course, two every two years, she says, the potholes come back because they're actually different potholes so you can see our repairs and i mean this is just one section it's the whole length of this track and then next to our repairs are new potholes all the way along so uh amazing isn't it how that does that over time yeah it was a hell of a hot day it was only march but it was really hot it's erosion. and i brought the drone up so uh video here it's erosion erosion yeah. yes Erosion. 
Well, anyway, we're going to get back in the car and uh, assess, assess the rest of the track. Morning, guys. Uh, slacking on the videos this morning. Well, I haven't filmed at all either. So we're both in the same boat today. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're on site. It's miserable, a bit, isn't it? bit miserable today. It's a bit miserly over Will's mother's. Not quite wet over there yet, but it will be. Oh, will ain't happy. No, we are. And Connor is. Connor's buzzing. Look, Connor's got a lovely technique for getting these pins out. Look at this. Look, look at that. A bit of leverage, you see. We're on the next. We're on the fifth bay today. Fifth and sixth bay. Fifth and sixth bay. So obviously, yeah, we started there. This one we poured yesterday, Interim Bay. This was poured on our first day of pouring this bay. And now we are setting up for the next set of bays, which is out where it sort of opens up a bit around the corner here. So we've got another 12 meter bay from here to that pad. And then we're gonna set the pad up that goes from that pad down to the spray shed. So that one and that one today. And then tomorrow we've got to do out to here. And then obviously this is going on to here as well. So we'll probably do this pour and that pour. And then Friday will be those last pours. So we are getting there. Uh, obviously so far you've had us time lapsed uh, doing the pouring and the shuttering and the pouring and the shuttering. So you know what? I think it's time for another time lapse. Uh, pouring and shuttering, pouring and shuttering and then we will rack our brains as to how we can make uh make it different maybe we'll uh maybe we'll film the concrete setting because as opposed to watching paint dry you'll be watching concrete dry well it doesn't dry it cures but hey ho uh getting through the mesh we had 75 75 sheets of mesh and look we bought the block molds today we bought the block molds so that any leftover material can start filling them up and if we get a couple of blocks out of it then it's uh not gone to waste yes right get a tripod out see you soon We're cracking on guys, we are cracking on. This is the most annoying part of the concreting job, getting the shuttering off, because the pegs, the pins are always so hard to get out, and there's concrete on the shutter in, and oh, it's just a pain in the ass. But we're getting there. So this is the next bay. How? What? How do we change it up? How can we change the video up? we just concrete. Well, I've been a bit more a bit explanative. Yeah, that's not, right, that's not the right word. Ex explanation y. Oh, explanationable. Uh, uh, what have you told them? Uh, not a lot, really. <laughs> <laughs> Just that getting concrete shuttering off is annoying. That's a pain, mate. But we've what got. Do, guys, we've got slices of the Yes. Uh, yeah, so this is the next bay coming in here. We're now extending it to that oil tank base there. So this is coming across there and we're going along there and then back out. And then we've got to dig off in front of this concrete pad so we can slope down to it. But we're moving forward. Every day is another step forward. Uh, so Andy's just getting the base sorted. Uh, 150 mil across, base, shuttering up. This is actually an eight inch deep pad. What more can I tell you? Other than it's raining and we're tracking on. Okay.
I was saying yesterday about how that shed's got sort of heaters that blow up through the grain. This is the back of that shed. Look at those bad boys. A couple of jet engines that literally blows air up and in and under the grain to dry it out. Yeah. Well, we're getting there. What oh there, what oh, it's the hairy mongrels look. I need to shave, don't I? Jack's got his mullet that's growing like a giraffe's Elvis. neck. Elvis, apparently. Elvis, yeah, you look like Elvis this morning. We're just stopping for a bite of the way. What you got? Uh, I've got a Mexican chicken torpedo. He's got a torpedo today, a isn't torpedo, he? Torpedo, something like that. Yeah, so we're just stopping for a bit of a uh, bit of bite of the way. It's 10 o'clock. We've got one more shutter in bay to set up. We've extended the base, so we've got one more shutter in bay to set up. Uh, it's Wednesday, uh, so the video's just gone out for last week, which was titled um, We're in the Yard. We're in the yard. It's titled We're in the Yard, and it's the first video where you know and find out about the keyrings. Uh, so the winner of the keyrings is Paul, what's his name? Paul B. Oh, I don't know, I'll have a look. Have a look. You're it's, ahead of me. It's the first, very first one. The very Paul. first comment. Paul B, second one up. Uh, Why is yours in a different layout to mine? Hang on, guys, bear with us. Uh, Brad, Craigie, yeah, Graham, right Paul. There, there. Paul B. Look. Paul B. Paul B. 19. Let us know what uh, what keyring you want. We'll comment back to you, Paul. Yeah, we'll comment back to you, mate. Let us know what keyring you want. Because you would you, you, you would have had it by now. Say so, week after. Sorry, guys, I'm always a bit um, a lapsed with the time. Anyway, Paul, do you like your keyring? <laughs> <laughs> now you've been sent it. Uh, but there is so many comments for free keyrings. Unfortunately, we can't give them all away. Um, so yeah, we're going to do a question every week, aren't we, Jay? So I wonder yeah. who's I wonder who's won, won this week's. Well, we haven't we haven't done a question yet for this week. No, but they would have seen it by that, wouldn't they? By then. No, because the, the, what they would have seen by this video is the one that's out today, and this will be Wednesday next week. But you've had a question at some stage in this video. This video. If you the, haven't had it already, you will have a question. Are yeah. you doing questions on a Wednesday or a Friday? Uh, we'll mix it up a bit. Do do we'll mix? Oh, I need to fill off my seat. When Of the week. So what's question of the week for this week, Jack? Question of the week for this week is, uh, what make was our first grab lorry? Yes, what make was Black Beauty? Yeah? What make was it? Put the answer in the squip pit below. Squip pit? Squip pit, that's Lord squip Mark. Pit. That's what he says, put the answer in the squip pit below. Squip pit. Squip pit. So, the closest wins. <laughs> now, if you get the answer right, and there's many of you, you'll go into a random generated uh, auction, and we will yeah, let you know. Not random, not live on Facebook. No, we'll let you know who it is, and, uh, and make... then we'll send the key rings out in a secret envelope because uh, who's this clown? We've got we're live in here, mate. So we're trying to we're trying to do a bit of a talk show here, and old legs over there, mate, with his hairband wrapped around his head, is chatting shit. Uh, yeah, secret envelope because the last two we sent uh, got pinched. Yeah, so Paul, hope you've got your new ones by now. Yeah, and you're not just collecting loads. Bought some envelopes. Yeah, so hope you've got them by now, mate. We're going to try our hardest to disguise them as much as we can from now on. But if you get it right, let us know what your address is and we'll send one out. So good luck, everyone. Good luck. We'll do a question a week and it gives everyone a chance to win a keyring. If you've won one already, I suggest we go to the next one. One, yeah, yeah, what, as in you can't win? Because otherwise they'll get the same person winning every week, so they've just got to get up first and watch it and say, I want a key ring. But then we just choose the correct answer at random rather than first. Yes, because it actually, yes. Because then otherwise people... Because this week's, last week's question was the first person to comment, I want a key ring. Yeah, moving forward, it's picked at random. Yeah, picked at random and it will be a, a, a better question. Yeah, we'll actually have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So Maybe we've, it'll uh, be content related. Yes, yeah, so you might have to go and watch all the videos. Yeah. But I hope you liked last week's videos with D and J and that. It was nice to meet them. It was a, a good mix up. We are on this concrete job. We're trying to change it up a bit, aren't we? Because it's yeah, just we've got laborious. To do like I was thinking, maybe we, because we are quite organised. So are you were seeing the in the unit, the lovely wall of wonder with organisation, and what we do have is uh, some organised toolboxes. So mm. you just grab and go, grab and go. Yeah, but they've been a bit uh, lapsed lately. Yeah, Connor we need, to, we need to just back back assess back to make sure they are as they should be. But uh, people might be interested to see our grab and go boxes because you've got carpentry work, grab a carpentry box. Bosh, mm. all the tools you need. You need drills, 
grab the, grab the real box, back yeah, to his drills, bits, all in there, bosh. We've set it up so we, whatever job we're doing, we know exactly what certain boxes to take, which is a great way of doing it, because you never get in a muddle, always organised and controlled, is how we see it. Anyway, we are waiting for the lorry to turn up for concrete. We've got one more bay to do, and we've shortened the loads today. We normally have 18, no, 16 cube. And we're going for 13 today. Yeah, because we're starting to block ourselves in now, so we can't get big enough bays to get the lorry to. Uh, so we're just smaller, a bit smaller bays. Yeah, we want to concrete ourselves out, not in. Yeah. So uh, obviously we can't take the lorry in over that concrete because it's too uh, too green. Yeah, so we're just having a bite to eat, and uh, I haven't got any anything to eat today. No. Is that rain or sweat? Where? You're a bit shiny. I don't know, mate. I think it's just stress. The stress. It, this is it's a sign of stress, mate. Stress. I look a bit blushed. It's, uh, it's all the pressure now that we are the Southern Ant and Death. Yeah, not only that, it's been... Uh, we do long days, we do 12-hour days, plus I do the camper at night till like 7 or 8, some nights 10. And I get home, a good half hour I've got to go to get home. So that adds another half hour in a day. It's just taking its toll on me. But I, I'm, I'm on a mission, this camper is 100%. I don't care if I have to push it there. It's getting to the truck rest. In it. And if the roof ain't done and closed in with a nice bit of perspex, it's going to have a bit of tarpaulin over it. Yeah. Either way, it's getting to the truck fest. And I'm going to have a, such a relaxing weekend, it's going to be lovely. So I'll put in all the hours now to relax them. It'll get but back. we found out today we can get it insured, yes, don't we? Yes, we can get it insured. We haven't spoke to them actually about the issues that no, we've we faced. Haven't. I know what we'll do. Tomorrow morning, we will go and do a camper update and go through some of the issues. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the, that. I'm trying to keep up. the. Although it's Wednesday today, so that might be Friday. Fridays, but I'm trying to keep the camper updates away from you guys, so that we can reveal it at Big Truck Fest. Yeah, so we'll do one more, one more update. I won't show you all of, all of no, what's going on. No, we'll go on. through some of the issues we're facing. And we are facing some big issues. Converting a lot. And you wouldn't believe, actually, how hard it is to do what you need to do to have fun in this country. It's a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm going to eat nothing and have a sip of coffee. Jack's eating his torpedo. I will eat my torpedo, yeah. Aren't you, mate? What yeah. you got in it? Uh, Mexican chicken. Mexican chicken. I don't know what that means. But we've probably got a few kidney beans in there. Well, I haven't, I've stopped eating their rolls because I don't like their, their chicken's a bit mushy. But it is a bit mushy. And I'm not a food freak or anything like that. I don't, you know, I'll eat any old shit. No, it's not got... But it, it is mushy yeah, chicken. It has, yeah. yeah. You might as well just have, like, chicken porridge or something. Chicken porridge, chicken pate. Yeah, pate. Yeah, March here, look, there he is. Oh, he's back again, look. I don't know if you see it on that camera. Yeah, I can see him. He's just there. March Hare. He's about three or four about here, isn't there, every morning? It's quite nice to see in the British countryside, isn't it? Mm. You know what I mean? You know spring has sprung when the March Hare comes bunning and run. No, the oh, Hawthorne, the Hawthorne's still out. Oh, I say like Hawthorne's out, Hawthorne's mate. Hawthorne's out. Oh, it's chilly. Well, hello. Catch you soon. Oh. Lovely, lovely. Hi guys, we are getting there. We've now have both bays set up, rebar in, and we have time for a coffee.
Yes, and the sun is out. It's very warm actually, really warm. Not too warm, just warm enough. So I am still wearing my thermals. So I uh, might have taken them off if it's warm. Yes. A lot of good comments so far today, guys. You've done it, you've outdone yourselves. If you haven't dropped us a comment in this video yet, or a like, or a subscribe, then head downstairs, or figuratively speaking, and give us a subscribe, give us a like, and hit the little bell thing, which apparently sort of notifies you. Subscribe, like, yeah. Cheers. Shuttering all guys, we're ready. Yes, we are. It's coffee time. The sun is shining. It's, it's actually turned into a bit of a beautiful day. Beautiful. Isn't it lovely? It's beautiful. It was raining this morning. I thought turn we were in. The radio down, guys. Yeah, turn the radio down. Speak loud if you can't hear it. Huh? I, uh, I thought earlier when it was drizzly and misly and poopy and shitty, it was going to be a bad day, but it's actually turned into a really spectacular day. Look at this countryside that we're in, look. Look at the view we have. Look at it, look. Brian, the farmer, is over here. Where is he? That, tr that tree there. There's a digger, look. He's sitting over there somewhere in his digger, doing a bit of ditching. I think we're taking over from that job in a couple of weeks with our nine tonner. So that'll be Andy sorted out for a couple of weeks. Uh, but we're ready now. This bay is ready. That bay down there is ready. So we're all ready for concrete. So we've just got to spray it up with shutter oil and we're ready for concrete at one o'clock. Two lorries, bit of a lesser load that I told you today. And then we've got this bay here tomorrow where Jack is kindly standing and modeling for us. And then next, that bay, and then concrete our way out. We've got to work out how we're going to do it. So actually, whilst, uh, whilst we're here, I'm going to work that out right now. Can we have a coffee as well? Well, hello guys, just waiting for the concrete to turn up. Andy's starting to sort of landscape some of this dirt back against the concrete. And Connor uh, is doing shutter oil. And Connor is Almost what you naked. might call a youth. <laughs> and uh, I, I think this is a, it's a fashion thing. Uh... Well, it's not the, the uniform we go for, really. Or the look is it Jack? No, so Connor, as you can see guys, has his arse out. Uh, I think it's because the weather's a bit warmer, it's a bit, it needs to cool down a bit. <laughs> it's a large erogenous zone yeah. isn't it, your bum cheek, you get a lot of air to it. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, Congre will be in a minute. He's drying out his bollocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just getting lower. Uh, right, yeah, we're going to start concreting again. And I will time lapse it. But by the time I edit this video, I might have about an hour of time lapse. So I'll probably cut some of them. Yeah, slept to the back. Yeah. Whoa!